DJ Valo, man. Long time, long time coming, yo. My guy, my guy, you feel me? So, you know, like I said, we were just talking before we uh, got on camera, like how I started was, you know, I pull up on niggas, you feel me? So, I hit you today, and we shooting today, you feel me? Like, I said, where you at, man? It's said, like, where you at? You feel me? Don't play with it, yo. Because, you know... We've been talking about Lenten. We've been talking, we've been talking, we've been bumping into each other. We all, you feel me? But now it's time to, like, you know, really connect. So I want to start off by just getting your story, bro. Just take us back, you know, man. Yeah, Where you from, sure, man? man. Right. Hey, look, I, I, don't, I ain't going to put it put it to you like this. I don't claim no particular side. You ain't man. geographical. Yeah, I ain't geographical. <laughs> man, you know what I'm saying? But you know what that mean? I mean, I'm a global type nigga. You that mean me? you 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 meant to take over some shit. Real you feel me? Yeah. That's what that mean. You feel me? It mean that you ready to start your own country. Whole world, my domain. Right. You know? That's a fact. You feel me? So go ahead, man. But yeah, you, you know, spent some time in the county. Spent have a time in in the city. You know what I'm saying? You spent some time in Virginia. You feel me? Just moving around, just growing up. You know how it is. Growing up, Baltimore City. You know. Young they just, you know, trying to stay out of trouble, you feel me? Like, you know, people's village try to embrace you and shit like that. So, village embraced me, you feel me? So, I spent different time in different places, family members. Well, you know, like, I be telling people, man, this land is, is big land, you feel me? Like, uh, they be having us bunched up together. We in projects, we in these hoods, we all bunched up together. But it's a lot of land, so we really meant to spread out, bro. You feel me? So that's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to move around here, move around there, you feel me? And still be good. Live off the land, you feel me? Real shit. Especially if you a king, you feel me? You're going to be, you know what I'm saying? You're going to stretch your domain as far as you can. So, like, the music, man. How you get into the music? Shit, I ain't even going to lie to you. Let's start. Let's start. I started off like how most people started off, you know, started off getting your pen game, you feel me, at the lunch table, beating on the table, you feel me, niggas got these bars, shit like that. You feel me? Then it just transitioned to something else. Like, right, what was that first that What was that first song that made you say, yo, I love rap, I got this in a rap? I don't even know. Like, when I got into it, I really went, I really went. Full throttle. I had the little little mic. You feel me? It wasn't even the uh, XLR joint. It was the joint with the USB for real. So I had the mic plug it in the side with the audacity. And we just me and my homeboy. We just go crazy for real. Just popping the songs out, putting them on SoundCloud. And I'm just like, I right. like, and I'm taking a break. You feel me? Chasing my little sports dream for real, man. Just got back into it for real. What sport? What sport? Everything. Three star athlete. Okay. Me? Basketball, football, track. Okay. Me? Yeah. Okay, so like, what shit? Like, what you feel is like what you want to do? Like right now, like what's your main focus right now? Shit, right now, my main focus for real is to really help. Not even on no local shit for real, but just because this home, you feel me? So that's where I'm always want to start. But like right now, it's just getting everybody on the same page in the city for real, and really creating a culture where it's those like we lifting each other up the ladder. You feel me? Like take that stigma of crab culture because it's like when you really moving around you and you saying niggas you know how we be moving around shit like that like it be all love for real like i'm like this the side of baltimore nobody talking about like nobody showing this shit right here like we on the business shit for real but we still know how to keep it genuine and know how to embrace each other and you know what i'm saying like that's what i'm all about right now i'm trying you know what i'm saying add to the scene whichever which whichever way i can Feel me? I'm trying to push the artists how I can push them, you feel me, and DJs and just different people on different scenes for real. Like, we got this shit. We take this shit over. Why you think Baltimore is so segregated, bro? Like, you know, like, it's just segregated, bro. Like, even, all right, 
you could say west east but even if you in the west west segregated to a certain point like park heights is its own type of culture i mean like you said it's, it's like the geographical shit for real but it's like when you think about it for real it's like you really care for real like i get it but you know. i mean like let's keep it real like I'm I'm trying to fuck with who real. I don't care we from the same block or none of that shit. Like, but see, I look at you know you 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 conduct business. You a businessman, so you know the importance of you know moving around and connecting with the right people. So maybe that's what's lacking, and maybe schooling and all that because we not really taught business. We more like, you know, we, we out here on some rogue Damn, stuff. I ain't going to lie. I didn't even think you was about to take it there for real. But that's, that's some real that, shit. Like, you know, when I do these interviews, bro, it's more like we from the same area. So I don't want to just talk about yeah this regular stuff. I want to get to the root so we can really that's real though. get to the issues. Because we on the same mission, but it's been is like Baltimore been in this state for a long time even before our time I was looking on YouTube you know like Baltimore History Channel and if you look at stuff from the 70s and the 80s it's the same thing so now it's time and to get to the us, root right keeping us down let's get to the root of these issues bro and I mean so if I could talk to somebody and we could brainstorm and get to some type of solution, solution. then it's more Thanks. hope, you feel me? It's more hope and it's more, now we got a clear vision of what we need to do, you feel me? So what you think, cause like I said, I think it's business. People just don't no, know I business, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. Cause I'm not gonna kill you if I know you a body that I need, you feel me? Nothing works without somebody's body energy making it happen, yeah, you, you feel and, me? And it's like, I always look at it like this. I always try like, I always try to paint this perspective for real. It's like, you got, where's though, like, we doing business. It's like, that's cool. We good. We doing business. But it's like, then it's like, you got to learn how to separate the business from the other bullshit or, like, the street shit for real. Because if you can't separate the differences, like, you never going to really get what you want for real. Like, even if somebody did, you know, do some fucked up shit or take you take you off your money or whatever the case may be, how you going to get your money back if you, you know what I mean, you just take it there you feel me like you gotta understand how to conduct business with though i know i am we going to court you feel me like i ain't saying we i'm ratting and no shit like that but we going to court like we yeah, going to civil this court and yeah we going to, yeah <laughs> civil court we yeah, right way. in a professional manner where though we still can shake hands at the end of the day and still be men for real right you know I mean? so and people and like a lot of people don't understand with any business come losses so even if you in the streets yeah, that pack might get messed up. Some people can't take that loss, and that's why you know the violence and the, you know all that other stuff come from. But if you can't take no loss, you can't win. <laughs> so talking about losses, like you said, you started off, you know, with the USB join with the audacity. Now, to where you at? You feel me? Like right now, no pun. You feel me? <laughs> but the way you at right now, you feel me? Like that process, like how was that? How many losses did it take for you to get the way you at See, right I now? I mean, you gonna have your trial and error. And then I started early. So like when I started, I was like early teens for real. So you know what I'm saying? Like I'm coming, I'm I'm, I'm rapping all crazy for real. We rapping about whatever. First day cut our brain, we just, you know what I'm saying? Saying what we even see or saying what we done heard somebody else say for real so it's like you know you just it's just all about phases you know what i'm saying you gotta want to grow like i wanted to grow out of a certain phase. i'm like man you know i want to talk about something i want to touch people i want to you know i want to make a real impact in the world you feel me and it's like you can't make that impact if you continue to keep yourself in a box and i was just in a space where i was like you know what i'm saying like i ain't gonna keep myself in a box i'm gonna keep learning how to do other shit so i was like man fuck it Start learning how to DJ, start learning how to engineer, you know what I'm saying? I even picked up a camera at one point in time for real. I thought I was going to be a cameraman too, you know what I'm saying? I started doing the artist events, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, my goal at the end of the day, like my end all be all, I want to create Baltimore City like culture to, you know, I want to work that up to be something a lot more together you know what i'm saying but you know i like what you, you said do this shit together man i like what you said when you say you know you had to pick this up and do this and do that because when i started this you feel me i just had the camera you feel me i picked the camera up but then i had to do the editing 
And then if, once I got into the podcast, I had to do the sound engineering. I had to do the lighting. You feel me? Then I had to do my own marketing. I had to do my own branding. You feel me? So I, I had to learn all these different skills. But then I was able to charge for all these different skills. You feel me? So that's important also, especially to the younger generation coming up. Learn as much as possible. You feel me? The more you know, the more services that you can offer, the more you make. You feel me? So that's real important how you say you pick this up and pick that up. But right now, man, what, what you got... Like, focused on right now. What you got coming for the people, man? I mean, right now, you feel me? I got one of my artists I'm working with, Salido Bands, in the studio with me right now. So we cooking up a project. It's going to drop on 222. So be on the lookout for that. But, yeah, we cooking that up. I ain't going to lie. This shit basically done, bro. Like, this shit basically done. Bro. First quarter 10. Yeah, this shit basically yeah. done. We just touching it up. We just vibing off of it, enjoying it. You feel me? Letting that shit marinate because people, they jump into it and they could be creating, but it's like they not letting that shit marinate. They not sitting there, like, going through the processes of, like, hearing it. You feel me? Like, really understanding it from a whole different aspect, sitting there as a listener and a creator. So break down your role as far as the role you play when you work with artists. Like, what's your role? Like, what you do? So I got I got a lot of different roles. Um, from the engineering role, from me being a DJ, having connections with that, helping push coalition DJs, you know, push artists through coalition DJs. Uh, shit, development artists. Mainly, I, I if, if you were to ask me that, typically the first thing I would say is development artists. The reason I'm saying development artists because that shit don't ever stop. If I'm recording you, me in the studio, you feel me? Like, I need to know that my song going, this song that we, this piece of art that we working on, I want to know that this is about to go to the next level. You get what I'm saying? So in order for this to go to the next level, I know you got to have certain things. So I'm asking questions while we in the studio. You got your copyright, bro? Like, are we copywriting this? Like, did you, are you registered on BMI? Like, do we, do you got your sound exchange, your sound trust? Like, are you set up? So that way, when I know we drop this song, like, this going to be official drop. Like, this shit going to go somewhere. You feel me? I'm not in it just recording everybody and working with everybody. I'm not in it that shit. Like, y'all can go to the next studio for real. Like, I'm trying to work with the artists that's trying break you know what i'm saying break that plane for real like break that shit for, you know what i'm saying we've been stuck for too long you know what i'm saying <laughs> we gotta we gotta pass that mark and the only way we're gonna pass, pass that mark is if we having these conversations with these artists you know what i'm saying making sure they leaving the studio with their clean version you know what i'm saying but like you said all this development that's missing you feel me like everybody want to just drop that one song go viral and then that's it. But it ain't no lasting power in that, you feel me? That's real microwavable. So, yeah, all this development is very key. And, you know, what you doing, man, I, I see you being, like, the next DJ Khaled, bro. Like, Appreciate yeah, man. That. That's a huge compliment. Appreciate Cause that. You see how Khaled started off, you know, radio, yeah. radio work. Then, you know, he started producing. And then now he got a label. And it's like, so, bro, you on the same trajectory, bro. And, and a lot of people don't even know, like, what even what took Khaled to that next line. Like, what he even had to go through. So even what you mm-hmm. been saying and even some of the connections and shit that I be dealing with for real. It's like, damn, yo, like, you know what I mean? Like. This shit, this shit get real. Yeah, bro. This shit getting real, bro. Yeah, bro. So, bro, go ahead, drop your uh, social medias for the people. Yeah, man, y'all can follow me on social media on Instagram at Volo the Artist V Y L O the Artist. You also can follow my studio page at Musically Intelligent. So, yeah, tap in with your boy, man. We going up. Where you at, show, man?